So you're using Pico point motors coupled to eight pin relays. What's that all about? Let me explain. So the storage area on the Yarslow layout is clearly an important part of it. And the layout itself is a one-man operation, it's a single-handed operation. I'm normally going to be sitting in the bottom right-hand corner in front of Yarslow, and therefore I need to be able to control the storage sidings from there. So the storage siding points are going to be operated by Pico point motors, surface mounted. So they'll be sitting on the PL9 bases and on top of them they're going to have a PL13 single switch. Now I've used this combination on old Yarslow layouts. The reliability of it is very good and in fact the failure rates of the point motors or the switches is very very small. Now the points will be operated in the normal way using single pole double throw switches normally centre off um, you flick them up for a normal, down for reverse, and with a ca uh, capacitor discharge unit, you end up with a very surefire method of operating your points. Nothing revolutionary there. The revolutionary bit comes from the fact that instead of using the switch to change the polarity of the frog, which you would normally do, what I'm going to do is to feed into this a 12 volt low amp bench supply, and the changing of the point motor will switch the supply either on or off to the primary side of an 8-pin relay. Now all this will be wired together using tag strip. There will be three inputs for the point motor as normal, so normal feed, reverse feed and a common return. And then there will be a feed in for the bench supply and a feed out for the relay on one side of the switch only. Now an 8-pin relay gives you primary in and primary return and then two independent switches and there are three pins for each. The first three pins I'm going to use to determine the polarity of the frog of the point. So the centre pin will come to the frog itself and then the left pin and the right pin will do positive and negative rails. The other three pins of the other switch are going to be used with a bench supply in to drive LEDs on a mimic panel that's going to sit over with me at Yarslow. So I can now change the points in the story siding from Yarslow without moving and the mimic panel is going to tell me if the points have thrown and what road is I've set up. Now I could do this of course with the PL15 Pico's double switch but I have to say my experience of them is that they're extremely delicate and extremely difficult to set up. Bearing in mind I've got several dozen of these things, it's going to be easier to use relays. The other advantage is that I can get relays from China for about 50p and these Pico switches are substantially more expensive. So there you have it, point motors and relays and how you can use the relays to give you multi-functions. Please excuse the fact that I've not appeared in person, but I'm taking social distancing to a total extreme. I should be back with more videos fairly soon, some more quick bites like this, and an update as the shed work begins, hopefully just after Easter. Stay safe everybody, see you soon.